Converting money, cents to dollars and dollars to cents. What is it? Changing from one unit to another but having the same meaning. Why? Helps to convert other units. Interesting fact. It takes 8 minutes and 19 seconds for light to travel from the sun to the earth. We're going to, in, in these examples that we're about to do, we're con uh, converting dollars to cents. So, uh, if you follow these four steps, you'll be golden. Step one, separate the left side and right side. Step two, convert the decimal to cents. Step three, multiply the dollar amount by 100. And step four, add the two sides. So let's go ahead and take a look at example one, which is $4.20. We're going to separate and then uh, convert the decimal. So 0 0.20 is the same thing as 20 cents. And now we're going to go ahead and do step 3, which is multiply by 100, and that gives me 400 cents. Now we're going to go ahead and add these two numbers together, and we get 420 cents as your answer. Take a look at example 2. Okay, whenever you're dealing with money, the zero, if you see a zero, it can be tricky. So you have to pay attention uh, on, on what you're doing. So now we're going to go ahead and separate and change the de uh, decimal to, to cents. We have three dollars, and then we also have eight cents. So now I'm going to multiply by 100 to give me 300 cents, and now we're going to go ahead and add them, and we get 308 cents as your answer. Take a look at example three. We have zero dollars and 89 cents. So we're going to go ahead and do steps one and two at the same time. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply uh, zero by 100, and remember anything times zero is just zero. So we have zero cents for your dollars. And then now we have uh, 89 cents on the right hand side. And now we do step four, which is add them. And we get 89 cents as your answer. Now we're going to move on to the to go to the other way, cents to dollars. As you can see, the steps have changed. So step one, separate the number by expanding. Step two, convert the left side to dollars. Step three, add the two sides. Step four, Add your, add your decimal and drop the cent sign. So let's go ahead and take a look at example one, which is 459 cents. So we're going to go on ahead and separate by expanding. We're going to separate uh, by, by multiples of 100. So 400 cents and 59 cents. So we're going to change the 400 cents to $4. And now we're going to go ahead and add them together. And then we can go, now we can just change the addition sign to a decimal and drop the cent sign to get $4.59. Now we're going to do example two. So we have just four cents. It's a little hard to expand. So we're just going to go ahead and add some empty zeros just so that you can see it visually. But I think some of you already have the answer for this one. But remember, if it was, when you're having zeros, it can be tricky with money. So now we're going to go ahead and separate them. We have zero cents for the, for the hundreds place. And we have zero four cents for uh, the decimal. And now we convert zero cents to dollars, which is zero dollars. And now we're going to go ahead and add them. And we get zero dollars and four cents as your answer. Take a look at example three, where we have 1,107 cents. We're going to go ahead and expand them. And we get 1,100 cents and zero seven cents as your uh, expanded part. Uh, now we're going to go change 1100 cents to $11. Now we're going to go ahead and add them. So as you can see, I've left the zero there because when we're dealing with, with this example, if you have a zero in the tens place, you have to keep that in uh, when you ch change it to dollars. So now you, we add them together and you, and you get $11.07. So, for examples two and three can be tricky. Just remember that, uh, to pay attention on, on those. So here is now it is your turn. Uh, so I'm going to give you the answers in about three, three seconds. So you should go ahead and pause the video uh, in three, two, and one. Here are the answers. If you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, remember there's always tomorrow.